Section 10. Recapitulation by Proxy, Not Embedment. Spiritual rigidity, spiritual imperialism, spiritual exclusivity, spiritual elitism, spiritual self-righteousness, and spiritual correctness are all part and parcel to the cult-like nature of spiritual assumptions and of the unassailable consequences of believing in them. The Christian sees their rigidity as morally bound, imperialism as common sense, exclusivity as spiritual validation, elitism as God's omniscient choice, and correctness and self-righteousness as justified not only because the Christian knows they are a sinner, but because they refuse to accept any other reality. Christianity does not accord with self and life by observing and amalgamating with it. On the contrary, Christianity stands peripheral to the individual and all of nature, attempting to make sense by proxy, not embedment. The Christian is blind to sin's psychology, just as the abused is blind to their bruises. A convinced mind does not allow an alternate reality easily, so the Christian will never cut the umbilical to Jesus, and this creates the same adolescent, dependent psychology in the spiritual realm as a child towards a mother in the physical. Is this what a guru or loving psychologist would want? A student or patient that could never leave? Of course not. How does being dependent for life foster the unlimited potential we are? How does enabling build awareness? Why would ultimate reality aspire dependency for its progeny? The Christian mistakes their childlike approach to God as an excuse to be irresponsibly unaware because grace is sufficient for this life and belief past a sin complex only serves to risk hell. This is how complacency seeps into Christian philosophy. The Christian willingly takes refuge under a sinner's glass ceiling because the thought never occurs to break through it. Frightened of cutting the umbilical or breaking the glass by risking life as it mercilessly is, or themselves as they unapologetically are, the Christian has but one option, to submit and remain dependent on an image handed to them be it sinner or save sinner. Every Christian wishes to see themselves clearly while integrating sin as basic. But if wishes were horses, every Christian would ride. Because with sin as basic, life becomes a pattern of addiction and redemption rather than a libation of heresy and liberation.